everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 73 of FTB Interactions, where I am making infused diamonds, MV machine holes, and some shield templates, which are just lapis and wool, or blue dye, or floral blue powder, or indigo blue, uh, there's lots of things that can be blue, but wool plus thing plus other thing equals things that are cool, like shield projectors! Yay! Guess what Dyer's working on today? Fans of the Dyer Will 20 channel may have a pretty good guess as to what I'm prepping for. Um, it's time to kill a wither. That's what it comes down to. That's where we're at. That's that's the haps. Um, so in the past, um, I've used RF Tools shield generators as a good weather or weather you know protection device, so you can kill the weather inside the the shields. That seems like a good option in this pack. Um, because the RF tool stuff is not heavily gated. In fact, speaking of RF tools things, let me show you what I made downstairs. A little environmental controller with a saturation module in there. See my saturation? See my hunger bar? Watch what happens when I press this button. <gasps> it stays full forever. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm reading the math on this correctly, right? Follow me on this math. 40 block radius. 40 times 40, 100... 1600 right yeah ish um times 20 blocks of height right uh would be 32,000 times 0 0.001 is 32 rf a tick to have a 40 block area and 20 block height covered 32 rf a tick uh, feels pretty good to me saturation for the win uh yeah i think i think i think that's what's up so that's what we're doing uh anyway so i've got uh specter coils here ready to go with me let's get the wrench from rf tools because i feel like we want that or or can we do you think we can use our crescent hand well i guess we'll find out won't we uh let's go find a place that's i don't want to say too close to my to my main base just in case things go awry yeah, just in case things go awry, I feel like, you know, further away from the main base would probably be a good move. Uh, just just to be safe. Just to be safe. Okay. Um, so let's dig out, uh, let's see, 7x7-ish? Seven seven Does that sound fair? Something's happening. What is this? Target lock. Dude, that legit scared me. I think that's robot dinos from space is what's happening over here. Maybe this is not a good place. Maybe this is not a good place. Look, they are robot dinos from space. Look at them. Look at the robot dinos. Ow. Man, they spawn a lot, don't they? I don't think I've left my base in that long that I've, I've legit not even noticed. Uh, I don't think they hurt. T3 X, TR3 X 1000. Sweet. Yeah, unit offline. That's what's up. Alright, so there's a lot of robot dinos out here. Laser Creepo Robot Dino Riders from Space. That's that's the name of the mod that we're dealing with here. I legit got scared. Like I heard this like weird noise literally as I was about to like end the last segment and start the next one. And I'm like, what? What? What's this noise? Target acquired. Yeah, target is acquired. I like the robotic y sounds. That's pretty cool. I don't need a lever at the moment. This is neat. I don't know anything about this mod. I should investigate it a little bit harder. But you know what else I should do? Is not build a wither contraption out here. Because lots of bad guys equals bad time for withers. Whee! So where should we build it? Like, maybe over here? -ish? Does this seem safe? Seems pretty safe. I like this area. Alright, let me, um... You know, clear out some areas and whatnot and uh then we'll be back and i should also just be a little more careful about robot dinos now that we know it's a thing that can also unless i'm mistaken spawn in the daytime 
right? Like, was it daytime? I couldn't even tell. I think it's becoming night, right? Yeah, so it was it was totally day when we fought those those dinos, right? All right, back in a sec. So as a reminder, if you want two sets of shields that you don't want to cra like have connect to each other, you can craft them into the red version of the template, green and yellow, and basically they just don't connect. Is that tall enough, you think? Or do I need one more tight? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alrighty then, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's set up the shields here and here. There and there. Okay, so you are going to be player pass. And then solid damage to all. And you're going to be solid to all. And then I'm going to hit you with the wrench. And you with the wrench. And that... Should be cool. And I think that means, I always forget this, but I'm pretty sure that that's good. It means that players can step through this piece, but only players can get through that piece. Cool? Well, hopefully I'm right. I guess we'll find out. So what I'm going to do now is, I wonder how nasty withers are in this pack. I have no idea. We're hoping that they stay contained in there, though, because it'll hurt a lot if they don't. Oh, good, pristine wither matter. <laughs> Look who was doing polymer clay work while I was waiting. I bet you guys were wondering, hey, Dyer, where are you going to get wither skeleton skulls from? Hopefully here. Maybe withered rib. Craft only drop disabled. Can you make wither skeleton skulls? You totally can. But we need skeleton skulls to go along with it. Boo. Well, let's see what we got. Do we got skeleton skulls? I don't know. We got a, we got three. We got three skeleton skulls. Well, that's a thing. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So they can come from pristine skeleton matter, but we need the alchemical matter infuser, which looks doable. What's that multi-block look like? Yeah, we could probably pull that off. Do you have like the ingredients list on you? Yeah, it looks doable though. It looks doable. Is it doable? Oh, guess we'll find out. But at least for now, we get one wither skeleton, or one wither. All right, let's make sure we're all charged up. Whee! Charging up the batteries. Everybody full, right? Gotta be ready for what promises to be an interesting fight. Okay, so you guys are all powered up. You are solid damage. Hopefully you're not going to take too much of a hit, right? In terms of like doing stuff and power and whatnot, but we'll find out. All right, here goes nothing. Fighting a wither. Oops, a doodle. There she blows. There she blows. I just want to keep an eye on the shielding a little bit. loud isn't it I think we need another specter coil or two for sure we have missed to like make the weather quieter mod there's the weather builder Boy, is he loud. I'm not seeing much. We've 
got a sound muffler though, right? Muffling up there. Really? That's it? What I might make is a quick sound muffler. Am I out of wool again? I got a little bit left. Good. Just cause he loud. Ah, that's better. Well, well then, that was fun. Boy, does he have a lot of health. I was hitting him a lot with my sword and he was just like, meh, I don't care. He did not seem to take damage from my sword. I think the damaging shield upgrade, 100% a good call right there. 100% a good call right there. Uh, now, where's this quest completion? Uh, supply chain management? Is that what I got? Starlight, Starbright, won't you auto craft for me tonight? That gets me nether star plates. Hooray! Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Automating nether stars, ritual of culling, or something more innovative. You mean like, like, I, like, like I just did? Oh, super innovative. There's like a million ways to automate things, right? And that's, that's the joy of modded Minecraft. That's why we like this game. All right, cool. So, we did the thing. Um, I would probably like to ensure that we have more Nether Stars in the future capable. Um, but I think for now, it's probably good to just, you know, go ahead and, and do this uh, this thing. Now, you, sir, can have some of this, please. There you go. And uh, how am I doing with this stuff? Because I need, I think, 500,000, and we're at 355. So we're getting there. We're getting there in LP. But now what I can do is take that nether star and upgrade my ritual. So we need two mana pearls and two reinforced slates, which I think I've still got some of. I made extras of some things because I knew we were going to need extras. So I kind of just, like, once I was in a roll, I kind of just, like, went with it. All right, and then two mana pearls. Let's get our extra reinforced slates. Really hope that we don't have a, you know, instability event where the nether star gets destroyed. That would be terrible. Uh, but we're just going to really cross our fingers that that doesn't happen, right? Really cross our fingers that that doesn't happen. Okay, quickie nap. All right, so I need ethanol and unstable, or ethanol and mana to make unstable mana, right? And then I need a simple power catalyst too. Doesn't look too bad if I go this route. Is that, yeah, I can do that with a master. Cool, that's not terrible looking. All right, so you get back to work making that stuff. Um, what combines you guys? Is it a chemical reactor to make unstable mana? It's a mixer, okay, cool. So that would be you then. Oop, oop, cool, like that. And then uh, I'm gonna need three sets of this. So 60 redstone and three simple power catalysts. It's been a while since I've made this stuff. Oh good, we've got some. Why do we have so many of those? They look like an annoying craft. I mean, not that annoying. Did I get a bunch from the from the quest? Is that what happened? Though this doesn't look terrible. I would just need to start growing another, another wart. I think we've got some, and gunpowder we've got some, so yeah, it's, you know, doable. Cool. And then you guys get to work. Wow, do you just take a million years or what? Yep. I think I've got a higher tier mixer. I think next time I'll do that. There you go. There you go. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot of time. Yeah, that's a slow one, huh? Yeah, it definitely takes a while. This is what, 10? So we're going to want this unstable mana in here, I presume. Once you're actually good and done. Cool. And I think I'll just void the excess ethanol because meh. Basically unlimited, right? Like we just have an unlimited amount of that stuff. Cool. Okay, now you should be making me Eyes of Ender. Beautiful. 
And it is a mana pearl with unstable mana and an assembler. So I should just be able to do this and this. Nice. That's what's up. Loving it. And I have a few more Eyes of Ender coming. Uh, at least a few more. Uh, so let's go ahead and make these two more. Just so that we have them. This was this. Hey, wrong thing. You go there. One more Eye of Ender on its way up. I'm just going to make them all from at least the eyes that I requested. Because, yeah. And then you can go back in here. This stuff go away. And then we have these two to do. Now, the last piece of this puzzle uh, is going to be uh, the, the, the fluidy stuff. So let's see. You, uh, this stuff is all done for now. Uh, you need 32 Tenebrae, which we... Do I not have my goggles revealing on? That's right. Remember I was going to like something something them and then didn't. What I should do is have like... Eh. Are you a bauble? Yes, but I think you have to go in a slot. Yeah, you have to go in that slot, which stinks. It means like no extra health stuff. I mean, not that it's the end of the world, but still. Just a little extra health. Uh, Tenebrae. That is... Perficio. Man, they're a little bit hard to see, aren't they? Vacuous. The trap one. We may not have any Tenebrae. And if that's the case, we're going to have to get some. I think Obsidian has Tenebrae on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it totally does. And we need 32. So let's throw 16 in there. That should be like more than double what I need. Cool. Uh, and then we need Victus. I know eggs have it if we don't already have some. I see something right over here. Oh, we have lots of Victus. Good. Uh, Potentia. I know we usually have a lot of that. Usually have a lot of that. Though it's possible we don't at the moment because I've used some of it. I could throw a redstone in there to get Potentia, right? Oh, no, we have plenty of Potentia. We're good. Uh, and then the final one is Examinus, the undead one. I should put labels on these jars, shouldn't I? I really should. So Examinus, I think... I know heads have them. Right? No, they don't. No, they don't. That's not the one I'm looking for. Uh, does Zombie Flesh have it? Nope. What has Examinus? Let's see. Some potions do. The Touchstone of Midas. Uh, some arrows of regeneration for some reason. Some potions. Franken Zombie. It's got to be something that has Examinus on it a little bit easier, right? So close. Yet so far. Ooh, Wither Ash. Hello, Wither Ash. Didn't I just get that from killing the Wither? Why, yes, I did. Hey, let me out my door. How about eight? Does that sound fair? That should be more than enough. Yeah, definitely more than enough. All right, so that should be time to go. All right, let's sleep through this night. I think it's nighttime. Eh, close. Yeah, pretty close. Do we even need this door anymore? He's just a hindrance, isn't he? I mean, I literally never close it, and mobs can't spawn near me, so I'm going to say it's fine. All right, so we should have all the things we need. Let's go ahead and make the Awakened Crystal. Go. All right, here goes nothing. Stable so far. Nice and stable. Looking good. A little bit of Victus going on. Turned to unstable. That's okay. Not terrible. Please no void nether crystal. There it goes. Good. So now we're cool. Alright. Done and done. Hooray! Task quest complete. That means that we are one step closer 
to Thorium. So that would put us quest completish around here, Mark of the Falling Tower, which gets us a stabilized mob spawner. What kind of mob is in that? Content saved? I ain't doing nothing with that. I know I've broken those in the past and had them, like, lose whatever they are. So I would love to know what contents are saved in there, but I'm also terrified to learn about what contents are in there. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm just hiding that in my in my thing because I know I'm I'm good. Block of black quartz mined on the moon will get me a black torch a o i i i a i o t. Now I'm sure we've got some crushed black quartz here uh, that can turn into that and then. Four of them compress into that. All right, cool. So just for the sake of completing the quest, we should be able to do this to this to that into a compressor. Woot. Quest complete. Nice. So that's what's going to be needed for the falling tower, dude. I don't know if I need an AIOT. Um, and that'll get me thorium ore along with a few other things. Right uh, now, if I used star metal, I could get a handful of other stuff, which is cool. Uh, but that looks good. All right, neat. Now I never did any of the demon crystallizing stuff. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how much I need to. Right, um, but I definitely need to look into by creating a mark of the falling tower ritual and using a block of black quartz as the catalyst. You can summon forth radioactive ores from space. Additionally, star metal works as a block to get more star metal, rock crystals, and many other magic ores. Nice. All right, so we've got our black quartz block. Uh, let's go place our ritual in the world. Uh, so ritual diviner, you're ready to roll, and you are set to the mark of the falling tower. So let's build this like way out here. Because uh, I know this is probably going to be a pretty large thing, right? Um, and then I can trash can all this junk I just got. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so let's start with the Master Ritual Stone. What I want to see is Shift plus M for augmentation info, huh? Okay, cool. Dusk runes. Let me look at the size of this. All right, so the um, Master Ritual Stone is going to be at the very bottom of the Y level thing, so that should be cool. So standing here, we should be able to place all our Ritual Stones with our buddy. We building it up. Man, that's a lot of Ritual Stones. 108, as a reminder. 108 Ritual Stones required here. Hey, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Look at it go. All right, not too shabby. We've got a few extra ritual stones for some other rituals. I was thinking about doing um, the ritual of the satiated stomach until I realized that that one actually needs you to have food. Like you put food in a chest and it feeds it to you, which is less exciting than the saturation thing that RF Tools does, because that's just like, here's free food forever. No more eating for dire. Unless I'm, you know, not at my base. At my base, no food needed. Out in the world, yeah, still need some food. All right, now how does this thing work? Uh, let's find out. Yeah, I'm kicking off a backup. I've heard that uh, this thing can do an explosion. I might be a little close to some other things. I really don't want to have to move him. I might, I, I might, in theory, should probably move him. I've heard I've heard there's a little bit of an explosion that occurs. So we're at 409,000 LP. I believe we need 500 to activate it. it is according to the, you know, thing. So let me, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ritual. I think I can vein mine it, right? Yeah. And that gets me all my stuffs back. Let's put this maybe over here-ish. Would be smart. I feel like that's a good plan. So yeah, we'll put this over here so that it's further away from our base, just in case it does do a big ol' explodey thing. And hopefully no dinosaurs will attack me while I'm doing this. No mana pearl voiding, please, thank you. All right, let's try this again. So we're gonna do the Master Ritual Stone 
and then you. All right, let me come back once I have enough LP, which will probably be about 10 or 15 minutes if my, if my guess is correct. But I'm gonna do a little tick accelerating to help. All right, guys, so we are at 552,000 LP, so that should be enough for a Mark of the Falling Tower ritual. So my understanding is I place the block of quartz on there and then right click with the awakened activation crystal and it will summon a meteor full of thorium. You ready? Let's do this thing. A rush of energy flows through the ritual. Oh my goodness, that was a big explosion. <laughs> and it destroyed all my ritual stones. Boo! Boo, I say to you. That is impolite. I guess I guess I'm glad that I moved it. For some reason I thought I thought it would be like like caught by the by the thing. Not, you know, destroyed all the ground. But good thing we moved it, huh? Yeah, no. Don't build that near your base. No, 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 no building that near your base. That is a that is a big kaboom right there. But hey, look, we got a bunch of stuff. Glauconite and Ordo infused and Entropy infused and Ignis infused and Pitch Bend and full Thorium. Yay, Thorium. Quest complete. Thorium ore. Aw, oh, no rewards, boo. Look at it all, it's beautiful. It's a giant meteor of awesomeness. So I guess our next question is, what do we do with this thorium ore? That is a very good question. Man, that is cool. I wish it didn't destroy all my ritual stones though, because those were not cheap. Thank you very much, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit cheap. That was a very expensive ritual. You're basically trading ritual stones for thorium ore. And a few other types of ore, obviously. But mostly I think thorium... Oh good, vein mining works. <laughs> vein mining thorium works. I just tested that. And it's beautiful. Alright, uh, let's go back home slash home. I'm out of lapis, as you can see, which is a bomber and a half. But let's put all this stuff away. Good, it all fits. Perfect. And then you guys go away. And we've got thorium now, which is cool beans. Now, thorium ore can be obtained by the... Yeah, I know. Uh, now, can you turn into... Oh, you turn into uranium-238 ore. Oh, would you look at that? That's cool. So that's neat. Um... Or you can be pulverized into crushed thorium. And then I guess we can follow the standard pulverization process, right? We can either pulverize it or we can ore wash it. We get some of that. And then we can do the thermal centrifuge to get some of that. We get some lutium dust from that. Oh, okay, cool. Forge hammer down to thorium dust. And then you can be smelted into thorium ingots if you so wish. Or turn into small piles of things or whatever. You get the idea. Uh, that's cool beans. I don't know what any of this stuff does. The point is, um, that was a big progression point for us, really. It quite, it quite a deal was. So now that we've got this complete, right, um, we get a colored lens spectral by performing that. Da, 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 black quartz as a catalyst. I, yeah, I use this ritual to get thorium ore, which you can transmute into uranium and further process into plutonium for radon. So that's exciting. Uh, colored lens spectral. That lets the thing go through things, doesn't it? I think so. That's neat, though. We might That might be a little hint as to how we're going to be doing some of this next task. So our next task is to get um, an eye of Ender with radon. Now, radon comes from molten gold and mercury in a fusion reactor. Okie dokie, then. Or plutonium-244 in a chemical reactor. I'm thinking chemical reactor, right? Radon enriched eggs, huh? Radon chicken. Talk to me. Nebulous heart, two mana pearls, tiny pile of plutonium-244 dust, which comes from... Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. So that chicken looks attainable. Nebulous heart comes from pristine enderman matter in an alchemical matter infuser. Craft only, drop disabled. I'm just going to make sure I don't happen to have any, because that would make my life way easier. 
Nope. No nebulous hearts. But, but, radon enriched eggs is totally a thing. Uh, that would be nice to have. Nebulous heart comes from alchemical matter infuser. That's the same thing that we were looking at like five seconds ago, right? Because it would be useful. I feel like I feel like this is in our future, right? I feel like it totally is. Hey, there's all the list of items. I knew it was in there somewhere. So we need arcane stone, mostly a mana glass. That don't look too terrible in an arcane lamp. Yeah, that all looks that all looks reasonably makeable. I think I think I think this is gonna be um on our on in our future uh so that we can get radon easier but the early instance of getting radon like the first time through before we get a chicken to do it needs plutonium 244 right so plutonium 244 comes from smelting plutonium 244 dust i guess which comes from i don't know Okay. Yeah, where exactly does this come from? Uh, how does one, maybe it needs to be a liquid. Like there's the fusion reactor, right? Do we have to do fusion? Is that a thing? Do I have to do fusion? Do I have to do fusion? That looks like a lot. I don't think we're at the fusion stage yet. Am I mistaken in that? I don't think we're at the point where we can do fusion yet. Yeah, look at how much EU we need to start a fusion reaction. Pretty sure there must be another way. All right, found it. So we need to take uranium-238 dust and centrifuge it into a little bit of 244, right? Man, that looks like a low chance too, doesn't it? Wow, that looks like a 2% chance, is that right? Whew, that's rough. Um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of low chance. And that's HV tier centrifuge. So we have to be at HV tier, which we are luckily, but it's a 2% chance that we'll get some plutonium, but not a big deal because effectively we just need to get a bunch of uranium dust, centrifuge it into a bunch of tiny piles of plutonium, turn that into at least three plutonium ingots. Now here's the thing that I noticed. Three plutonium ingots turn into three plutonium dust and radon, and then the plutonium dust can be smelted right back into ingots. So is that like just like an infinite loop of radon right there, or is it me? Right? Right? All right, so now I know the path, right? Um, so we're going to want to do radon. We need to get by getting three plutonium ingots, which we can get by smelting three plutonium dust, which we can get from tiny piles of plutonium dust, which we can get by centrifuging U238 dust, which we can get by processing uranium ore. Um, and uranium ore we can get from thorium in a starlight transformation, right? So hopefully I'm not mistaken about this, but let's see. I'm pretty sure if I did something like, where's my, Where's my linking tool? There you are, buddy. What if I put you like that, and we put this here, and then we said this to this. And because you're that thing, can I do this? I don't know, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. But in theory, this thorium ore now turns into uranium, right? That's what that does. Uranium-238. Cool. And as a note, uranium-238 can totally be starlight transformed into dense uranium. So we can totally dense uranium, this stuff, and then process it in our, you know, this to this the whole ore washing thing that we have downstairs so hopefully that's valid but i guess we'll find out i don't know for sure i'm thinking that the purple lens makes it so that the starlight thingies can go through the thingies but we'll find out let's also just because this seems to be taking a long time we're gonna pop that guy down there i'm a i'm maybe this can't do this maybe that i thought that worked that way but maybe it doesn't 
pop it off. Is that what you do? And then something? I don't know. Hey, look, it's uranium, though. That's exciting. So we got one. Ba -ba -ba -doop. All right, so that's cool. I thought that the spectral lens, what's that do if not that? What's that do if not that? Interesting. Yeah, and that blocks it. Ah, okay, so spectral lens means it can go through blocks, but it doesn't mean it changes all blocks along the way. Got it. Got it. That's what it does. That's what the spectral lens does. Well, that's a bummer. That disconnects that, right? Or no? Anyway, it's probably wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, so let's say this. Let's say for now, Delta 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time uh, to play more Boop. with this uh, with this stuff. We'll get uranium going. Uh, we'll get plutonium going and all that goodness. All right. Delta 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.